here with Kevin Feige. Welcome to Phase 5. Phase 5. It begins tonight. That's true. Tonight is the beginning of Phase 5 for people who are tracking along with our phases, which I certainly hope everybody watching this is. I want you to know that it's looking like Phase 5 is everything I really, really love about Marvel. It seems like we're getting weird, Kevin. It seems like we're going well, places that you, are very strange. you have strange. a title called Quantum Mania, you yeah. want to make good on it. <laughs> you know what's great about this movie is I'm sure you've spoken to everybody already and they've told you, but it's amazing because it's, you know, sort of the completion of a trilogy with this amazing family with Scott Lang and Cassie and it's funny and it's heartfelt and it's relatable, but at the same time, kicking off phase five and introducing Kang and Jonathan Majors in a colossal way. And that's what I'm most excited for audiences to see tonight. So tell us a little bit more about Jonathan Majors and what made him the right guy to be our Kang. You know, he, he's great. And, and Peyton Reed was a huge, huge advocate for uh, Jonathan a year and a half ago, two years ago, whatever it was. We were casting that role for both Loki, He Who Remains, and Quantumania. Um, and obviously he shot He Who Remains first and then this. But you can see already, if viewers who saw him in Loki, saw him in the trailer for Quantumania, he is such a versatile actor. He's getting a lot of great acclaim in numerous movies coming out around this time. And we've already, I almost gave you a big spoiler, but we've got lots Go of ahead. plans ahead for, for him in a great way. Well, I do want to talk a little bit about that without heading into spoiler territory. Yes. You know, you've said that uh, Phase 4 was very much about uh, introductions. We met yes. a lot of new characters. Yes. We've got a lot of new heroes. We've got, uh, we've got America Chavez. We've got Shang-Chi. We've got so many people coming in. Yeah. But now this is about connecting everybody, right? Absolutely. And after Endgame, we wanted the Infinity Saga to feel complete. It was after Endgame and, and Far From Home. And Phase 4, as I've said, was all about experimentation, introduction, and reintroduction. And we took our time to have fun and play in genres we hadn't played in before and do all sorts of fun things with these new characters. Kicking off Phase 5, we'll continue that. And like the, like the Infinity Saga, there'll be standalone films within the next two phases. But it really, as you will certainly see in Quantumania, is heading towards the very, very big picture. And as we've already announced, that big picture is the multiverse saga in a very big way. So tell us a little bit more about the quantum realm since that is kicking this off and is going to have such an impact on things. Well, I love that this was an idea that Paul Rudd had many, many years ago on Ant-Man 1 was to explore this notion of this subatomic universe that played with quantum mechanics and where rules were different. That turned into what you saw at the end of Ant-Man, right. the first one. Clearly that was our tag on Ant-Man and the Wasp and then was the way in which the world was saved thanks to Scott Lang and Endgame. And we also know that Janet Van Dyne spent a lot of time down there in the quantum realm. Right. And we see her get lost there in the first one. We see her rescued in the second one. And now in this one, we finally get to see what the heck was going on down there for 30 plus years. And that's what audiences will discover and how that ties in to everything going forward. I don't well, know how are. you keep it all straight, man. I don't know how you keep it all in your head, but thank you so much for joining us. And we are excited to Great. see how thank the quantum so realm all plays out. Thank you. I can't wait for you to Thanks see it. Thanks again. Great Kevin Feige, you. everybody.